this will be discussed during the session because this uh, this relatively rare but important disorder has still a number of unmet medical needs so there have been very great uh, uh, improvements in treatment, uh, a widening of the therapeutic options available, but still there remains uh, a fraction of patients which are refractory to treatments, and so the development of new treatments, of new possible targets of treatment is very important. And there remains still a number of uh, unmet needs in terms of uh, quality of life of patients, because these patients not only bleed, which is their one of their main problems, but they also have uh, a condition which uh, uh, worsen their quality of life. Uh, one of these manifestations, which is not fully explained, is fatigue. These patients have chronic chronic fatigue, and not, not always fatigue is improved by the therapy which improve the platelet number. So it's, uh, it's an important point. And then we are now discovering that these patients uh, are more prone to other di disorders. Uh, so chronic disorders or chronic impairment of the quality of life, uh, like uh, enhanced risk paradoxically of thrombosis, uh, it seems that there is an enhanced risk of cancer uh, and it seems that there are data that show in suggesting that there is an impairment, uh, uh, a co cognitive impairment in the long term. So there is a number of unmet clinical needs uh, which really need to be addressed to improve the quality of life of these patients. And clinical research and basic research in this field is very important to attain this target.